It's the NFL on EA Sports. And there's no love lost between these NFC North foes. It's the Green Bay Packers and the Detroit Lions. And it's coming up next on Madden Football. Downtown between Brush Street and I-375. That's where we're located in the heart of Detroit at Ford Field, which first opened back in 2002. Today we've got what's always a hard-hitting battle in the NFC North as it'll be the Green Bay Packers taking on the Detroit Lions. Carlson has his teed up, ready to get started. And we are underway from Ford Field. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. So here are the Lions now coming out for their opening drive. And they're brought out by a former number one overall pick coming off one of his best seasons ever in year seven of his career, now in year eight, Jared Goff. And at one point, the ascension of Jared Goff was really, really strong. Back-to-back -back Pro Bowls, took his team to the Super Bowl, and came really within one quarter of winning it. But since that time, he's had bouts of inconsistency, and that's been the struggle for him as he tries to get back to the form he showed earlier in his career. To Montgomery to begin the drive. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. Five yards on the game's first play, second down. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gained five yards on it. And to be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. It'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. But just play number three here on the opening drive, and it's an early third and one. They'll run it. Here's Montgomery. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. Well, didn't get it by much, but bottom line got the first down, avoiding that three and out. How vital is that on the first drive? To me, it's like the first round of a boxing match. You know, it may not mean much right then and there, but you'd rather not lose it, right? So you want to go ahead and get it, kind of establish something early, and hope it can carry through. Well, they'll run it here on the jet sweep. Well, a pretty move couldn't create much space down just beyond the 35. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Defensively, they had that one pretty well figured out. Yeah, and one of the things about this play, it can be even more effective when you run a lot of motion and there's plenty of times you don't hand it off. Here's gone. And that's hauled in by St. Brown over the middle. And that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. And I think this is a route we'll see more of as this game goes on because with his speed, they want to get him the ball in space on drag routes just like this. They want him to get the ball and run after the catch. Good job there, though, holding him for a short game. On third down, they go Montgomery. And he brings this up to the 46. Good enough for the first. I don't know about you, but that almost felt like old-time football there. The third and two is not necessarily just a running down anymore. A lot of times they want to throw the ball. They went back to the roots and powered forward and got the first down. Couple of first downs to kick off the drive. Here's first and 10 up at the 46. 
And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Goff. And that nearly an interception here on this opening drive, but he gets a reprieve. It's third down. I will see more of them trying to get him the football out of the backfield. They love what he can do in open space, and they believe that he creates mismatches they can exploit. An eight-play drive to this point. So here's play number nine on third and seven. Now it's gone. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. They'll get 34 yards there. We expected this defense to be tested by this passing game coming into this one. And there's an example on this first possession of the game. We're scoreless after one. Second quarter action now from Detroit, and it's the homestanding Lions who have the football. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Here's Goff. Going underneath, Gibbs has it. Just a gain of a couple there, and it'll be second down. That's a good job there by the corner. We do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, sure tackle. On second down, Montgomery. A tough run gets him just inside the 10 to the 9, but no further. It's a gain of six, moves him to a manageable third and two situation. Not a ton of room available on that one, but he made use of what space was available and gained decent yardage. The Lions on third down. A perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. Here it's third and two. And it is caught. And it'll be touched down here, but not before he does pick up the first. It's a gain of eight, and it'll wind up moving the chains. So opening drive, third down. They complete the slant to move the sticks. And ordinarily, it's a high percentage pass when you throw it. And receivers like to run that route because it gets the ball in their hands pretty quickly. Just a couple of quick steps upfield, break towards the middle, the ball should be there, and then they can get to do some work afterwards. Montgomery will take this one in. It's a Lions touchdown. Just power football there down near the goal line. Give it to him. He's able to push his way across. Yeah, they went heavy there. Sometimes you have those big offensive linemen coming out to report like they're eligible. But all they're doing is getting a good stance, blocking, and getting their runner across the goal line. Michael Badgley on for the extra point. It's up. It's good. And the Lions lead 7-0. So that one, a 13-play drive in total. And it was David Montgomery's touchdown run that polished it all off. This one away. Keyshawn Nixon now going to bring it out of his end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25 yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Six foot four inch Jordan Love taking the field for the first time. The 2020 first round pick from Utah State set to lead Green Bay. And his task in this situation is making sure this team knows that there's a sense of urgency yet somehow still stays calm because your natural impulse, your first possession is not until the second quarter, is you got to attack right away. Throw something big at them right away. Yeah, you've got to move the ball, but maybe be a little bit careful in doing so. Loving the Packers now with a first and 10 at their own 23. Now the man from UTEP, this is Aaron Jones. Across midfield, he's on his way. Touchdown, Packers! Aaron Jones, 
77 yards. And the Packers are able to strike quickly here as they are in for six. And with his speed, if he just finds the slightest crease, he can take it the distance like he did there. How about the leverage up front? Offensive line out leveraging the defensive front to create that space, that crease that he was looking for. And once he hits open field, he's going to be very difficult to catch and corral. Anders Carlson now for the point after. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. Well, I'm not sure if they drew that play up to score, but it scored indeed. One play on the ground and into the end zone for six. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 here as the kick's away. Here's Khalif Raymond to return. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. Back onto the field come the Lions for their second overall drive. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Looked like both sides were anticipating a quick throw there, and the defense was ready to jump in and deny it, and they did. Here's second and ten. Back to throw, golf. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. Well, they approached this drive with a lot of confidence after the last one ended up as a touchdown. But incompletions on their first two throws has them huddling up and trying to figure out a big play here on third down to get their momentum going again. Now they face a third and 10 after back-to-back -back incompletions. Out of the gun, golf. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he's got this almost to the 40 before going out. Great way to convert on third down there. 21 yards the play. Well, you want to make sure that on an opening drive, that you at least stay out there for a while and get into the flow of the game. A three and out would have been problematic, but that's a good throw there to ensure they get another set of downs. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Again, golf. And his pass incomplete. A good job in coverage there. They took away his top read on the play, so he went through his progressions and ended up settling on his running back who scored on their last possession. But the coverage held. It goes incomplete. Second and 10. Now Montgomery, he's got it on the draw. And a good swarm to the football defensively as they get him down at about the 40. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine looming. He did have the touchdown run earlier, but not a heck of a lot more than that throughout this game. No, not at all. In fact, I would say that this defense has done as good of a job on him as they have on any runner in recent memory. Throwing on third, golf. He's got his target, that's complete. And this is gonna result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers 43. Now a timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. And partner, they're locked in man coverage out left and they end up running a crossing route, rounded it a little bit more than a slant 
and he's just going to angle himself towards the right side of the field, and that's very difficult for a defender to shadow him across all that ground. Now Goff on first down. His throw incomplete. And their back's up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. Now a second and ten. Now gone. First down as the tackle's made at the Packers 22 yard line. A gain there of 21 yards. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, Hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Goff throwing again. The throw here right sideline falls incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. So after the incompletion, second and 10 from the 22. Now Goff. He'll leave it for Montgomery complete. The Lions now going to use the second of their timeouts as they stop it with 19 seconds to go in half number one. Third and nine here. To the air again. Golf. Touchdown gives them a touchdown lead before they attempt the extra point. What a great way to end the half. A yeah, great job to put themselves in front. And now, see on the sideline, special teams defense scrambling, saying we want to preserve this for the. And now, of course, all scoring plays are reviewed, and I think they're going to take an extra long look at this one. Is this a touchdown? That's the question, CD. What are they looking for here? You just need any part of the football to break the plane. You don't need the whole football. It doesn't need to go over the entire white line. It's just that front part of the white line. And if you draw an imaginary plane going straight up, that's what they need to cross. After review of the play, ruling on the field. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review. So they had it right. Badgley on for the extra point. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And the end result, a Detroit touchdown. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kicks away. And he won't quite make it to the 25. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Now second and five. 
Now whistles here, flag down. I think one of the Packer linemen was moving. Oh, moving from his tight end spot there. Do you think that perhaps the play call was for him? Still second down. The false start penalty, and now they're back to needing 10 yards on second down. They'll keep it on the ground again here. And he'll just keep two hands on the football as he'll be taken down after a short pickup. So we've reached halftime here in Detroit with the Lions out on top. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios in this EA Sports Halftime Report. In that first half, it was David Montgomery who proved to be tough to stop. He wound up finding the end zone on a touchdown run to help give his guys the advantage here at the break. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. Touchdown ball game, 14-7. Our scores, we get back at it on EA Sports. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Here's the Packers offense now getting set to start off this third quarter. Well, Charles, we saw a pretty entertaining first half, close ball game. Remember there toward the end of the second quarter, the opposition scored to take the lead. Now we'll see if these guys can get a score of their own to regain that lead. Yeah, they want to have that type of a response, don't they? Because they want to find a way to take control of this ball game one more time. Goblet's been thrown down. They want to see if they're ready to answer it. First down, love to pass. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. We saw this a lot in the first half, and then continues. These receivers just not able to get much separation. So that means they have to win the 50-50 balls. They've got to go up with the defender and find a way to start coming down with them. And this time, contact and another incomplete pass. On second down, Love once more. He finds his man complete. That's Reed. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves them with third and nine looming. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. You're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. On third down, Love. He's going to launch this deep for Watson. And it's knocked away and incomplete. I'm sure this isn't a novel thought, but maybe run some simpler routes instead of trying to get it all back in one shot. Defense certainly appears to be ready for him. Try and get it back little by little instead of in big chunks. On now is the Packers punter. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. Forty-three yards on the punt, return of four, and the Lions will take over. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. So for this offense, Charles, remember drive one made it to the end zone. Drive two resulted in a touchdown as well. Now they'll try to make it three for three. Yeah, and you know, they told us all week that this was the plan and this is what they wanted to execute, but did they really believe it would happen this well, this efficiently? I know they'll take it, and afterwards they'll say, there is never a doubt in our minds we were going to be successful in this one. And this will leave them a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. 
Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. From the 42-yard line, here's second and a yard. Gibbs straight ahead. Four yards to pick up, first down. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. On first down, gone. Across the middle, he's got it complete to St. Brown. Got a very strong gain of 24. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 30-yard line. That's to the tight end the portal. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Another nice game, 13 yards that time, and another first down. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches, as we just saw him do there, because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days, but you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target, and that's how he'll shred the defense. Getting had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. Now it's Goff off the bootleg. And that is caught. Touchdown, Detroit. Jerry Goff to Alvin Ross St. Brown. And the Lions will end on to their lead here in the final minute of the third. And that's a drive that makes everyone happy on that bench because they accomplish exactly what they set out to do. Take care of the football, eat up a little clock, end up in the end zone. Now they've got a cushion for the rest of the game. So they didn't just help themselves offensively, they helped their defense out as well. Here's Badgley now to try to add the PAT. It's good, and it is now 21-7. That time, a six-play drive, and it's capped off by a touchdown for the Lions. Nixon now from his end zone. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Green Bay offense ready to take over. Well, these guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. Only able to gain a couple there, and that'll bring up second down. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. On play action, love to throw. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we play three quarters. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now at Ford Field. It's the Packers who have the football, but in need of points as we begin quarter number four. So 
So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Play fake. Here's Love. He finds Watson complete. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. A very well executed play. It goes for 29 yards. Good yardage on the completion there. And when they look at the scoreboard, they do understand a field goal is not going to do them any good. My guess, they're going to press the ball downfield as far as possible, try and throw it into the end zone and get a score because they know they've got to get that done and get the ball back as quickly as possible. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. He shook his head right when he released that throw. He knew it was going to be a little off target. Yeah, the excitement got him on that one. Wasn't able to control the fact the receiver was open, and it would have been an easy throw. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Love from the gun. He hits Dobbs on the crosser. Give him 30 yards there. And here's a spot where this offense says, we got to start making something happen. We're down two scores. It's the fourth quarter. We've got to start moving with some urgency. And here's a big play that gives them a ray of hope that they can get back in this one. The chain gang hustling to catch up. Here's first and goal from just inside the 10. Now here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. Uh, great coverage down in the end zone. He's scanning the field, looking, looking. No one ever came open. So in the end, he makes the best decision and just fires it over the end line. Nothing on first down, so the ball remains at the eight-yard line, second and goal. Throwing. Love. Over the middle, it's complete. That time the completion goes for four yards, and we're set up with a third and goal. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. They've been denied touchdowns in the red zone twice already. Here comes third and goal. To pass, here's Jordan Love. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Chauncey Gardner-Johnson with a pick. And the Lions are going to take possession here as they've got it at their own four-yard line. Well, I mean, field goals probably aren't going to cut it at this point. This was touchdown or bust, and unfortunately for them, it turned out to be bust. Yeah, they're feeling like they've got to force the issue here, maybe take some chances they wouldn't have earlier in the game. But give credit to this defense. They've really stood tall throughout, and they come up with the interception in the end zone. After the interception, here's Golf. A quick throw there is incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely, just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and 10. They'll go to Montgomery to try to line some clock. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. And this is an absolutely big third down that's been set up here, partner, and there's no other way to put it. The defense has to get a stop here if they have any hopes of winning this game. Has to. You said big third down. I'd put the word big in capital letters here. Now this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. Now it's gone. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. So fresh out of the two-minute warning, and here's another timeout taken with 1.55 remaining. Points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. Now the Packers going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Another 
yard would probably put this thing in the books. It's second and one. Straight ahead with Gibbs here. Now the Packers going to burn their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Third and three. Here's Gaw. Now that'll be caught by St. Brown. Two yards on the pickup there. And it'll be fourth down. Now that's going to be a tough one to explain when they get together and watch the game film, isn't it? I mean, they had the right call, had the out route. He's got to know where the first down sticks are, yet he steps out of bounds that close. Not their best play. And here now the punter Fox as he sends this one away. A 40-yard punt, no return. And it'll be Packer football here, first down and 10. So here's Love and the Packers down by two touchdowns. A minute 36 to go. It's been a struggle to score all day, and now they need to do it twice here late to have a chance. Love looking to throw it. Able to find his man, Kraft. At this stage, this drive's got to be touchdown or bust because you need two of them. And if I'm the offensive play caller, I'm not just looking at my dagger plays downfield. I'm looking at some of my specials, something that can fool them and give you a big play now. With a sense of urgency. No doubt. Now second down and a few inches. Here's Love. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. One thing you hope to see out of a rookie tight end is a real concentration when the ball's in the air, and I'm not sure that he didn't, but he has to be prepared for people making a play on it when that ball's up for grabs. Love. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he's going to have a Packers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. This defense has certainly had an outstanding second half, haven't they? I know they just gave up a first down there, and for the offense, they're hoping that that's something that they can jumpstart with and maybe start to move the ball a little bit better. But it's been tough sledding for them here the entire second half. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Ooh, that's certainly not the worst thing. It stops the clock and lets your offense catch its breath and lets us exhale a little bit. Now I expect them to call a couple plays in the huddle, so they're ready if a tackle happens inbounds. A little less than 40 seconds remaining. Here comes second and 10. Now Love. That's to Kraft, the tight end. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions' 25-yard line. Kind of a dangerous throw there. He's off balance when he gets rid of it. But this is all about a quarterback knowing what he can get away with. And that time, it turns into a completion and a healthy gain as well. Here's first and 10. Again, it's Love. A throw left sideline falls incomplete. It sort of looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But if this defense gets two more stops, they can keep them out of that area. Here's second down. Love. Going to throw deep for the end zone. Back of the end zone. Could he get his feet down? No, it's incomplete. And that one's incomplete. Three seconds left, and barring a penalty, this next play should be our last. One last shot now for Love. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10. And working at the 5. 
So this one's over. It's a win for the Detroit Lions. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last points of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they planned to do going in, whether they just played better, whatever it was, it all came together.